Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my little corner <laughs> where today we are going to do a massive baby haul what I got from my shower unboxing unbagging holy heck there's so much stuff in this room literally so much stuff I'll pop a video up on the screen I I feel a little claustrophobic <laughs> just a little bit there's a lot of stuff here. I feel like this might be a two-parter video. We're just gonna kind of see how it rolls. Um, I'm not gonna like take forever on each piece. I'm just gonna kind of show you and move on. I did have three baby showers. <laughs> I had one for the Moreland side of the family. Work threw me a really nice baby shower and then the Geiger side of the family threw me a baby shower as well. I have a lot of stuff here. Not only that, but I wanna show you what we picked for our little twinnies. So if you're new to my channel, I am 30 weeks pregnant with twins. I have a boy and a girl on board and we are so excited and only slightly overwhelmed. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff that you need for twins and um, I feel like we're still forgetting something. <laughs> Not only that, but we had to make room in our house for two more babies. So Chris is currently working on Carly's room down here. Um, he's at the point where he needs to mud, uh, paint, do trim, and then lay down the floor. Well, well not, maybe not in that order, but anyways, once all that's done, then we can finish the nursery upstairs. So this stuff does not have a home right now. My plan is to try to get some of this as organized as possible so that I can put it up when I can put it up. My daughter has her 15th birthday party. <laughs> My oldest is 15 and I'm starting over. I'm crazy, I know. But it's coming up this weekend too, so this just needs to happen right now. Now I will say there are some things I'm leaving out of this haul. Um, the clothes that me and Chris bought for the babies that's upstairs in Carly's closet right now, that's being left out of the haul simply because it's already on hangers. I didn't want to mess with it. And then we've had a lot of hand-me-downs too, which I am so grateful for. My aunt had a best friend who had twins, a boy and a girl as well, and they sent over tons of clothes. Not only that, but like, excuse me, my phone <laughs> somewhere in here. Not only that, but also the little musical things that you put on their crib. And before we get into this, I wanna tell you what we bought for the twins. However, I undoubtedly will not remember the name of any of these things other than a couple. So for their bassinets, we did a pack and play that also has two bassinets on it. I'll pop a picture up on the screen if I can get to it to take a picture or a video. Basically, one of the bassinets will come out and then I can put the changing table in while the other baby is still right beside him, change a diaper, swap them out, change a diaper, and then put the bassinet back. It's really, really cool in that aspect. And that's probably where they'll start out whenever we first bring them home from the hospital. I plan on letting my husband get some sleep. He's working like nonstop. So it'd be great for me to be able to sleep down here and have the bassinets down here as well. I was just talking about you. How hard you work and look at all the stuff. <laughs> I got lots of stuff. I'm excited to get all this out of the bags, get the bags all together and shoved somewhere. If you guys need a bag for a baby shower, I got you. <laughs> so that is the first major purchase that we made and we made it, we bought it used. Um, we found a woman on Facebook that had not only that, but the car seats that we wanted. The, um, we also purchased a stroller that matches those uh, car seats, so it's a dual car seat stroller combo <laughs> doing such a good job but these two products are like the top rated products that we could find in those categories um the stroller is pretty awesome the car seats just snap right into them and then uh we'll have the bases for the car seats in the car so it'll be super easy and then we also have transition pieces for when they get older you can put those in and then they can sit and still a double stroller that will kind of grow with them Next up, instead of swings, we got Mama Roos. So I bought those used as well. We're totally fine with having used items. <laughs> Did not bother us whatsoever. Um, you know, most everything that really touches baby can be detached and washed. Um, and everything else, we just Clorox, you know, Clorox wipes, little Lysol wipes. Um, and it's just saved us so much money, I cannot tell you. We'll not be able to afford those products if we had not bought them used. Um, we got Cribs from Target. Um, they were 
what we could afford but also match the aesthetic. We were looking at used cribs but it was hard to find two that matched and <laughs> that was the only thing I cared about. I want them white and I want them matching. Um, and I wanted something fairly simplistic as well. And we found that these from Target, brand new, pretty much covered, it was pretty much a little, it was pretty much the same price as finding them used. So we went ahead and purchased those with a gift card that I got for my first baby shower, or a couple gift cards that I got for my first baby shower for Target. And we got them brand new mattresses as well. As far as breast pumps go, I have been given a brand new breast pump that no one's ever used before. However, I really want the LV breast pumps, so they just kind of go in your bra. No wires attached. You can do whatever you need to do. And I told Chris, you know, with having two babies, I feel like I need my hands as free as possible. So hopefully, hopefully we will find those. I don't care to get those used either because I can sanitize all the pieces that will touch baby's milk. And yeah, okay, so I think we are through with what we've purchased as far as that's not in this room right here. Oh, oh, what else is not in here? The tower of diapers that we have accumulated through the baby showers. We are so grateful for each and every single diaper that we got. Um, there are a few in here if you can't see. There's a, you can't see the one over here, but there is a diaper cake over here as well as a diaper cake over here. Um, I have cases and cases of diapers and wipes. We actually just recently had Tennessee's Tax Free Weekend and purchased a case of wipes ourselves just to try and get ahead of this thing. Not quite sure where those are gonna be stored during said baby or birthday party, but we're gonna figure it out. Um, but yeah, it, it's amazing and we're so appreciative of every single diaper. So glad that we have like a nice stash of them because we're gonna need them. Now I can move on to what is in this room. Are you guys ready? Here we go. All right, so the, the first thing, and something I was pretty excited for that I had registered for on Amazon, um, and I will, if you guys want a link to these, I can probably make a baby Amazon storefront section so you guys can find them. But um, I wanted to do for their bedding, I wanted to do boy, girl, but I wanted to have something that was kind of similar. So for her, we did this little bedding. Let's see if you guys can see it. It's got little elephants, it's pink. It was just so stinking cute. Um, and if, I have a feeling this video is not gonna go up until after the babies are born. So at any point, if I have pictures that I can pop up, maybe of their crib set up with their bedding, I will show you guys. But I just thought this was super cute. And little man's pretty dang cute as well and also has an elephant on it it's got a little bit more animals than the other one it's got a monkey an elephant a turtle a lion some birds and bees but i feel like it will look super cute in the room as well i think the plan is to do a really pretty light soft yellow in their room so i think that both of those beddings will look super cute in the nursery since we're talking about decor in the nursery i'll show you something that we picked up ourselves at bargain hunt for ten dollars since we went with the elephant theme we thought this would be really cute on the wall i have some similar pieces that are like the wood grain and white in the living room so i thought it would be super cute and only 10 bucks not bad i don't really know where to go from here i feel like there's so much stuff i'm just gonna start picking up and i will say i apologize to everyone and anyone who got me some of this stuff i'm not gonna remember who this came from there was so much stuff and i have horrible pregnancy brain right now i do apologize so let's just start with this bag here beside me okay i think about, oh okay i know where this came from my aunt debbie gave me these some tights that her granddaughter did not get to wear super cute little tights and as well as some little onesies that her grandson did not get to wear which i thought these were super cute look at that <laughs> i absolutely love them so cute and since we brought up bargain hunt for five dollars at bargain hunt i got a, an entire case of the baby hangers i believe there's 60 hangers in here for five dollars you really can't beat that I felt like that was worth showing you. <laughs> All right. 
I think, I don't remember where I got these. <laughs> I thought it was maybe the woman that we bought, the stroller and the playpen bassinet thingy from, but we got some nursing pads, plan on breastfeeding both of these babies, so those are handy to have. Actually, this might have been from my aunt as well. Disposable milk bags, gonna need those. As well as Infamil vitamin for breastfed babies. I don't really know what this is, I need to research this. And then, I believe Sherry sent me these. I could be wrong, forgive me if I am, but we got some little nookies, some little passy passes. So cute. Um, I think these are more for when they get a little bit older, so six months plus, zero to six months, zero to three months. Both of my kids did pretty good with passies and dropped them pretty early on. Moving on, the next thing I wanna show you guys, sweet little Miss Holly got these for me. So, a uh, package arrived at my door one day and I was like, oh, I swear I didn't order something from Amazon. I promise, Chris, I promise. It ended up being from Holly, so thank you, Holly. And I thought it was so cute because they're little elephant, they, um, oh, they're passy clips, that's what they are. So stinking cute, each baby has one. And then she also sent this book, If Animals Kiss Goodnight. It's so cute, I've always loved reading to my kids and to my babies, so I absolutely love that. Thank you, Holly. And since we're talking about, I don't even know if I can pick this up. Miss Sherry sent me this huge box full of baby clothes. I wanted to share with you guys. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm just gonna show you a couple of my favorite pieces out of it. She also sent me a couple things for me, which I thought was really sweet. But hold up, this is my favorite piece. <laughs> Look at this little skirt, it's got little pom-poms in it. How cute is little miss gonna be in that? And then this was cute. I mean, the girl clothes are always fun. So there were a lot of cute stuff for her. I just, I mean, it's jam packed full of stuff for these babies. You guys have no idea. Ugh, I can barely lift it. I probably shouldn't be lifting it actually. Thank you, Sherry, you're such a sweetheart. All right, I can't remember where this stuff come from. So I'm just gonna show you guys. <laughs> How cute. Oh my goodness. How cute. I just die from like the level of cuteness when it comes to the onesies. I didn't mean to throw it. So stinking cute. Trying to like make a pile of clothes <laughs> for little man. Mommy's little hugger. <laughs> what is that? And then I love this. Like I would wear a shirt with that um, print on it. So cute. More koalas. So cute for little man. Or actually that's very gender neutral. That could fit either baby. Oh, daddy's little buddy. Little puppy dog. Some cars and a little stripey so stinking cute and then I cannot believe the amount of blankets that we got I am very happy because God knows we'll be using them they'll be spit up on and everything else so we got a ton of receiving blankets these are actually really really cute little patterns oh and more onesies for her Ooh, I hope you guys don't get sick of seeing these because I swear look at this pretty princess <laughs> little pokey dots and a little flower floral theme so stinking cute oh we are 20 minutes into this and I have barely gotten through what's right here beside me I don't know it may be a minute guys in fact once I get this done I'm gonna tackle this because this is killing me I feel like I said claustrophobic but I found these oh TJ Maxx and I made Chris buy them because I thought they were too stinking cute to pass up. Yeah, one for her, one for him. Little robes, little washcloths, so cute. So we can have a nice little bedtime routine, have a little bath, get in our robes, and then go get dressed. Oh, I can't wait. I feel like having babies later on like I am now, you like just appreciate everything so much more. Okay, get ready for this level of cuteness. My mother-in-law made this. I've never seen anything like it. And I've lost a couple things on it, a duck and a frog, but it is a wreath <laughs> made out of diapers. Holy heck. I didn't know that was possible. So stinking cute. It's got some uh, washcloths on it. 
Sorry, they're a little messed up. Some passies, some socks. I just love it. I love the little bow made out of diapers. I thought that was so cute. I may not even take this apart. I may just hang this up in the nursery. So much stuff in here. I'm just gonna quickly go through it. Someone's at the front door. So Sam just had a friend show up. So Roxy's barking. There's people running up and down the steps. I apologize, but I don't wanna stop this train because we are already moving. So inside that basket, we had some really cute little boy socks. And then we have Tiny Ideas, My Baby's Print. So it's a little keepsake box. So you can do their little prints. I believe this is like a uh, air drying impression material. So maybe I can flatten it out enough to get both prints, both babies, like one of each of their foot or their hands in. So cute. We got a couple of bibs for each one. Wait, there's three bibs, sorry. Three little bibs. Oh, little Lammy, how cute. Oh, it squeaks, it squeaks. Roxy will go after this. And then we have a little float for the babies once they get bigger, when they wanna go swimming with mom and they can stay nice and shaded. Little sippy cup. Two sippy cups. <laughs> oh, this I thought is so cute. I'm gonna have to find a pink one too. And then some outfits for Little Miss. They come with a little bib too, a little matching bib, little bloomers. How cute. Oh my gosh. I didn't even notice that one yet. How stinking cute. This one's falling off the hanger. How cute. I die. Not to mention I have an ice basket to store things in. All right, so this is another purchase from us, or for us, but it was actually purchased with a gift card from my uncle, and this was highly recommended by a dear friend who said, don't get a diaper genie, get a, a Yubi, I think is how you say it. Um, it actually will fit regular size, tra a regular trash bag, so you don't have to buy special bags for it. I got mine in the gray, it's metal, and I've heard that the smell will not leave this thing which I feel like we're gonna have a lot of dirty diapers. We're gonna need this. Probably should have gotten two. <laughs> we're making progress. <laughs> Moving on, don't know what bag this came out of. And I should also mention, I have diaper bag upstairs that I already have packed. I'll try and pop a little video picture up of it. Um, but it has some of the stuff that was in these bags because I wanted to make sure that we were ready to go for the hospital. But <laughs> I love the little baby headband trend. This one's probably my favorite out of the bunch, but so stinking cute. Chris is definitely gonna have to make her a tower for all of her headbands. This was a blanket that I purchased myself, which if I had known how many blankets we, we were gonna get, I probably wouldn't have purchased it. But it says little princess and it's so cute. Oh, this is funny. You're gonna see this little outfit set several times because we got it from several people but I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna keep all of them because I'm sure they'll spit up on them and stuff. Um, so this is actually in the size preemie and so is Little Man's, which is great. They can wear these right out of the hospital. So cute. I believe this is also a box filled with some new, some used baby stuff from my Aunt Debbie. <laughs> and I love the um, white onesies because I like to do little personalized onesies. I've made a few of them. I'll pop a picture up on the screen. And I mean, yeah, it's just jam packed. Some of them still brand new. For instance, look <laughs> how cute. Carly's in love with foxes too. So I know she's gonna love that. And just cut off on me. So I'm gonna show you the last one. I've already put everything up, but got little baby washcloths some hooded towels, super cute, as well as a grooming kit that has everything you need for after bath care. And then next up, we have this cute little bag. So many cute bags, I swear, like I said, I've got everybody covered. Love this pail, I think this is really cute. It comes with the Johnson's Calming Shampoo, the Bedtime Lotion, as well as the Bedtime Bath. So everything we need to keep them nice and clean. And then we also got little outfits for the little man. I thought this was really sweet. I just got this at my most recent baby shower because it's something for me. <laughs> it's a little mommy and baby robe, swaddle, and cap. 
So that's really cute. I may actually swap the robe out that I have packed for the hospital and take this one instead. Though I wish I had another swaddle and hat that matched it, but say lobby. And then just a couple things that I got in one of my, I believe this was the Oh Baby box. I got La Petite Organic Diaper Cream as well as a Mama Waist Extender. I plan on using this after uh, fourth trimester during my postpartum months when I'm like, wanting to wear those jeans but still have a little bit more in the stomach area this should be fun all right mama needs a big bag so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and grab this one beside me so that i can put oh it's such a cute bag i love that with the rattle and the stuff in it um but it's got a couple other bags inside of it as well so let's see you guys said you wanted this video. I told you it would be forever long. I warned you. Okay, so this one, I love the, oh my gosh, I love these. Look at that. I know what he's wearing to the ball game, guys. <laughs> we can get her a little cheerleader costume. <laughs> this. So cute. And I love the little, these little kind of outfits, little shorty um, onesies, little rompers. How cute is that? This one has a little pocket, <laughs> a little shark is a pocket. <laughs> so cute. That was also from my most recent baby shower, so from the Geiger family. And I'm gonna guess since all this, yeah, all this is together. I remember who this is from. This is from Chris's sister, Sydney, which I thought was so sweet. She is gonna have so many cute headbands. Okay, there is a boy box that's down here that has matching stuff too, but here are the onesies that were in there. And I think these are perfect because when they are born, it's gonna be very cold, so they're gonna need the long sleeves. Love this. This like mixed media material, so cute. So adorable. <laughs> but this, <laughs> little footies. They're like little animal feet. The boys bag you'll see has matching ones, but for him. Okay, and then also, <laughs> cute is that? I love that everybody somehow knew that we needed elephant stuff. So cute. I believe this was from my work family. <laughs> I think, I could be wrong. Look at that, I love it. Like I said, these kids are not gonna be hurting for blankets or toys at all. All right, next up, these were from Lucy and Linda. I know because the cards are in them, plus I just got them the other day. Um, so we have a boy bag and a girl bag. Each one had a little card in it. <laughs> Hang on. This is too cute. This is my favorite thing in these bags. Little sister, little brother. How cute are those? I love these PJs too. They're perfect for at night. And then in the boy bag, we also had these little th outfits. So it's got little puppy dogs little uh, overcoat and footy pants. And then in the girl bag, Roxy's freaking out again. Undoubtedly she's seen a squirrel. How cute. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna grab a bag behind me. Oh, another cute thing that my mother-in-law made. She's super crafty, she's good at everything. And it got a little messed up. <laughs> One of the babies at the baby shower pulled some of the socks out. But they're little roses made out of socks and a cute little pail. Love that. All right, next little bag. Also from the Geiger baby shower. So cute. Mommy's little love. Love the little sheep in this one with the rainbows. How cute. My kids are gonna be very well clothed for a very long time. And then in this bag right here, we have some little socks. And for him, super cute. And then for him and her, <laughs> this is so cute. All right, let me show you this. <laughs> How cute is that? I love it. And then it says RAR on it, and it's got little pants too. It's a whole outfit, so cute. And then for her, it says best smile. And then we've got a little overshirt and pants as well. I'm sorry if I'm not doing a good job showing these. I'm not used to showing baby clothes. All right, guys, next up we have this bad boy, which I've obviously stolen some things out of. So we have this beautiful blanket. Again, little elephants. 
And then some burnt cloths. Definitely gonna be needing those bad boys. Again with elephants. <laughs> I think this one's for my work family. <laughs> And then some receiving blankets with little whales, little nautical theme. So cute. Okay, this one is jam packed. We've got a teether. Some more headbands. I believe this one has pants to go with it. Yes, little ruffle bottom pants. So cute. Little outfit set for him. Love little pajamas like this. It's like I said, the perfect thing for night. There we go, there's the front of it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> how cute. And then for her, I love these. With the rainbows and their little animals. This one, oh, that one just looks like a treat. So cute. Love the patterns on these. Oh, and then there's one for him in the back here. Ooh, some much needed wipes. This is from my friend Mylela. I remember because I was like, how did you get so much stuff in one bag? So cute with the little foxes on it. Carly died. We both kind of fell in love. Sorry if Roxy is freaking out because Sam has a friend here. And then her little pajamas. They're so cute. I love it. This one says happy smiles. I'm honestly hoping and praying there's room in their closet for all these clothes. <laughs> all right, moving on to this bag. And I think this might be our last bag for this portion of the video. I may have to come back to you guys <laughs> in a part two, um, but how cute is this? Daddy's little buddy. Those little cars. There's so many cute outfits. We have honestly been blessed with people in our lives that really want to spoil these twins. So I want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys if you were one of those people. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end part one. But I will be back with you guys with part two of this huge baby shower haul video. <laughs> very, very soon. If you guys liked today's video, please give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm not always showing new baby stuff. In fact, it's, it's fairly rare. But I feel like it'll probably get more frequent as the twins arrive. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. I don't have any new subscribers to call out because I've been a filming queen today. But I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys. You mean the world to me. And I guess that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and let you go for now. But no worries. I'll be back very, very soon. Till then, my loves. Bye.